Hey everyone, I just want to thank every single one of you guys today for helping me get past the milestone of 600 subscribers. It wouldn't have been possible without all of you guys and all your support and kind comments after every single one of my videos. So to thank you guys, I have a very small giveaway I want to give out at the end of today's video. So make sure to stay tuned until that part. Alright, let's get into today's video in which I'll just be playing a couple of my favorite openings for you guys. Not part of the speed run, but just for fun. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so our first opponent's going to be this one over here. Alright, so we're going to be playing, of course, our Philidor, one of my favorite openings. Um, yeah, my opponent's going for this d4 strat. Not a bad strat, but it's also not the best because why would you rather have a pawn there instead of a knight, right? Let's play g6 because my knight's and the opponent's knight's trying to go there, so let's just stop it. Let's just stop our opponent from playing h5 as well. Right now, do I want to put the bishop here? Actually, let's keep the bishop here so we don't get pinned here. That's kind of annoying and it happens all the time. So in this position, um, what do I want to do? Do we have some tactics? Let's play b5. We're just putting our pieces, our normal squares that we usually do. All right, now here, hmm, do we want to play a6? Doesn't work, unfortunately. Here, t -t 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 -t, queen b6 kind of forced. Do, 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 do. Now we can attack e4 a little bit while also threatening d4. So do we take here with the knight? Though this might look pretty weird to you guys because this looks like I'm just creating a weakness on d6, which is potentially true. The idea behind this is, well, this is a weakness, is e4 pawn is easily accessible for me. My knight's on a pretty nice square in the center. We can also play a move like knight here and the next move in which we're just attacking this f2 square. So our opponent might have to play something like bishop e3 first in between move to get my um, queen off this very nice diagonal I have. Let's see what my opponent does. Place bishop e2. Now I have this move over here. Now the question is, do I want to play this right now? Um, looks strong. Yeah, let's play it. Let's play knight there with running f2. He can't take on e7 because then I checkmate him, which wouldn't be too good for my opponent's health there. And he can't play f3. He can capture, but then I just capture back with my knight. So he does this, which allows me to capture there. And now I have this h4 move, which I think was pretty strong, which was why I allowed my opponent to do this. Now, um, do we play right away? Do we want to play queen here? No, we can't do that because b5 is hanging a little bit. So let's play h5. Let's just push this guy. Where's the knight going to go? Probably h1, right? Because it's like the only square it can go to, right? h1 is not the best square to put your piece, if I do say so myself. But he's kind of forced to because there's nowhere else he can go to. To keep my king safe, I might just put on e7 where it's defending this. Now I can just take here with the bishop now. Oh, I see. But oh, I should have taken there then. I didn't see this. This is my mistake here. All right, let's just play h3 open up the his position. Uh, one good thing here is that this pin here is pretty strong. So my opponent, um, wait a second, can I not just win here somehow by just pushing this pawn here and then playing like knight here? Now the question is, if I play knight check first, knight captures, bishop captures, I win the e4 pawn because I'm throwing h2 check because his king has to go, so I take here. Um, looks pretty good. But what is something else I can do? I can do a knight check. Uh, I can do h2 check first, king here, here wins. Um, I, I like this one better. Let's go for this one because we're threatening a mate, right? And then we get a center pawn and I do like my center pawns. So here I just take here and we um, just play king fa or king because now the use um, file is open so we can't keep our king there anymore. The rookie one's not possible by him because then I can take on f2 and that's mate. Um, all right, so now we just slide the king a little bit over. Um, or do we want to play this? Right, let's just slide the king over here. We don't want a castle because my work on the h file is very strong. I don't think he wants to capture here because maybe I have like here or something in the future. I can play d5 here. I can play bishop here. Bishop f5 looks best though. Though he has g4 and the bishop d7. Wait, no, I can just take on f2 now. f2 was hanging. Yeah, we talked about that already. Right now, um, alright, my opponent resigned because he had to block with knight, and then I can checkmate. 
Alright, so he offers a rematch, so let's just do it for fun, and let's play a Kali Zucretort now. I know you guys love my Kali Zucretorts. I do like my Kali Zucretort as well. Alright, so, uh, after c5, what I like to do is just play b3 immediately. Um, now here I like to play, you know, let's just play bishop b2, put my bishop on a nice diagonal. Let's play a3, stop knight b5 ideas, get my bishop here. Alright, let's play bishop d3. Play knight bd2. Let's get my knight to e5. Also threatens to take the knight. Hopefully my opponent do, uh, sees this. All right, so I play f4. Protect this guy over here. Castle. Play queen f3. And we're just going to bring in more pieces to attack my opponent's king side. So let's see. If they decide to capture me, I capture back. Ba, 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 ba. So he's trying to play b5, which makes a lot of sense in this position. Um, let's play. Do I want to play? I play queen here because if he plays b5, I capture on c5. Yep, I capture there. Queen h3. Threaten this and then take there. And then, as uh, you guys saw in the video, it's a pretty strong threat. Pretty strong threat that my opponent has to avoid now. Alright, my opponent avoids it this way, but this allows like g4 ideas here, which isn't the best for my opponent. So, do I want to just play g4 immediately, or do I want to play like knight here, knight here? So many different ideas, so just rook f3. Rook f3 looks pretty good, just put the rook there. Rook on g3, take on h6. The queen has to stay on this diagonal here. Now, do I want to capture this way? Um, no, I do not. I want to capture this way with the bishop. Just safer. He could try to plug it up. Actually, might be a little bit annoying for me. I think... Oh, he just moves back there. Now, can I take here? Bishop takes g7, king takes g7, rook here seems pretty deadly actually. Rook g3. And we won the game, alright. So that was a nice one as well because I think after opponent captures, so if our opponent captures, rook g3 check just seems to be game ending because he can't move back here because queen takes h6 is checkmate and he can't move to king to h7 because bishop is blocking here so his only other move is king to f6 but if he plays king f6 I think I just have the very simple queen h4 and that should be checkmate because we're doing this sparrow-like checkmate because there's nowhere opponent can get out. If he doesn't capture then I just capture on h6 then cap and go to h8 and that is checkmate. So one co good Kali game, one good uh, Kali Zugatory game so let me set up one more game for today. Let's see if anybody wants to play some nice games. That's a, somebody wanted me to play against some 1400 rated players, so let's try to do that. Um, can't see that many uh, 1400 rated players actually, so let me just do a quick pair. Who knows? Maybe we'll see me lose a game. All right, so we get to 2226, so this guy seems pretty strong. So let's play Kali Zukratori. Our last opponent was only like 2100, so not the strongest opponent, but also not the weakest. Alright, let's play knight here, let's play here. My opponent's playing fast, so I need to play fast too. Alright, so here... Mm, I don't even care, let's just let him push, whatever. If he wants to push again, that's fine, because now this is a weakness for me to attack to end win. Alright, so here, do I want to capture there? No, let's play c3. Just go into a normal Kali now. In which my opponent, I think, just creates a weakness here for me to attack. Now, if I play here, he just capture here, and nothing really happens. So, I don't want that to happen. I can capture there and play b4, though. And then I can win this a3 pawn. So I can't play any um, the Kali Zukrator that I taught, but I think this is fine because I can just win the pawn in a3, which is good for your health. Now, here he's trying to play that, so we're going to stop it, of course. Oh, uh, this is annoying. Uh, if I capture there, da, 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 da. You know, let's just capture here. And he has to capture back some way. Yep, he captures back this way. Then we play bishop here. Then he plays b5, and I can capture here, so... Seems pretty good. I can also play knight there. My opponent's putting up a lot of pressure because if he just lets me win the pawn, then obviously I just win the game, right? And that's not good for my opponent. So here I just capture there. 
Now, I think there's just a lull in the game, so I can just take on a3. Now, all I need to do is survive his oncoming attack over here, which I think I can just by playing this. And taking there, do I take? Yes, I take. And playing rook d1, just bring in my pieces, ba ba. Because the only way I lose, as you guys know, is if I lose on, t uh, not time, but tempo. I could also lose on time, that would be pretty bad as well. Alright, let's play here and let's play a3. Solidify my structure. Alright, let's play this guy over here. Trade off pieces, maybe play over here, pawn up, so my bishop can be free. And open a3. Push this guy up. Bishop is open. But my pawn is a little bit weaker. Right, let's play queen here. Attack this pawn. He's going to play like f5. Kind of forced. Ooh, he doesn't. He just lets me take it. Is this a trap? He can play... If I take here, rook there. And that's kind of annoying for me. No, but I can just take his knight. No way. This is just bad for my opponent. Now, is he trying to threaten something here? That's the real question. If I just double up here, though, I don't think he has any threats. Because we're just putting our pieces on good squares. Alright, um, hmm. Let's play h3. Make sure no silly goose stuff happens. Now, we can capture there. And I think this is good. Two, I think the two rooks are better than the queen here. Because the structure is in my favor. Um, now can, I can't just push, unfortunately. So let's move this rook back. Maybe play rook g4. Yep, now we play rook g4, taking on g7, and we win the game here. Um, somebody asked a question, I think, I believe it was Quinton, he asked a question earlier about when the two rooks are better than the queens, when the structure is, um, sound, for example, my position over here where I don't have, like, triple, double, quadruple pawns everywhere, then generally it is better to have, um, the rook. Now, the thing is, I can't even take there, I don't think. Huh, did I blunder? I, if I take your king over there, blah, blah, blah. Let's play check. I think I'm forced to, right? because my two pieces are under attack, and that's not very good. Uh, okay, so we have to capture here. That is one thing. And now what do we do? All right, let's play here. So he takes there, and I take here. And then we just push here. So now my structure is not too sound, but again, my opponent has two little pawns here, and I have to, very little time, so I need to play fast here. So let's play just rook here. I'm surprised he didn't take my pawn. All right, uh, let's take on h6, play here, rook g5, pre-move. All right, let's check here. Um, let's just have both my uh, pawns over here. Solid structure, solid life. All right, let's move king here, g3. We have rook f4, I can pre-move this because there's nothing our opponent can do to stop that, I don't think. All right, let's stop, check h4, h5, g here, oh we should have just pushed the pawn actually, let's push, 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 here, oh we could have taken us, oh no we could not have taken f7 because our king was pinned, our rook was pinned, and I think we lost this one because of time, but other, um, but otherwise, we probably would have won that. I didn't even realize my time was so low. But that's okay. We lose games like these sometimes, and that's okay. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, the thing, the giveaway, I'm just going to be giving away a one-month diamond membership um, to you guys who want to comment after the video. Basically, one of the favorite things that you guys like about this channel and also one thing that um, you want to see in the future on this channel as well. So again... To enter this giveaway, all you guys have to do is write one thing that you like about this channel. And number two, basically write down um, one thing you want to see in the future. Also put down your chess.com username and I will be announcing the winners in either the next video or the next next video. So basically, I'll give this one week timeline until um, 10 p.m. January um, 11th for you guys to join the giveaway. And I'll just do a random generator um, to find out who wins. I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.